Hi guys and dolls, ladies and gents, welcome back to the Janae Law Show. In this video, um, hopefully the lighting is better. I'm sitting in front of a window, um, so hopefully the lighting is um, a lot better. But in this video, this has been on my heart. This has been in my Trello board for like the longest time. And um, just a little bit about me. Um, oftentimes God will give me things, show me things, um, and I write them down, I store them for the time that he wants me to release it. And so I've been having this for, for a while and I feel like now is the time that the Lord wants me to release this. And that is a prophetic word of a strong friendship before marriage, um, a strong, solid foundation of friendship. And um, it's funny because the way the Lord speaks to me, I just, it's funny because a lot of the times that he speaks to me um, about a certain thing, and some of you, you probably noticed this yourselves, he'll confirm it over and over and over and over and over, over and over and over, just in the littlest of things. Um, I'll hear it or I'll see it while I'm working or whether it's a scripture or whatever it was. And um, I was watching uh, Bonolo's video the other day and how she says, be open to love. And it's funny because God was telling me to unguard my heart. And I was like, Lord, I'm keeping my heart all guarded. I'm not unguarding it. Nope, it's safe with you, God. Um, and so I'm going to explain that in a different video. Um, yeah, I'm going to explain that um, more in a different video. But in this video, I do want to talk about um, a strong, solid foundation of friendship before you get married. Some of you, um, you have a friend that you're talking to. Some of you, you don't. If you're like me, you're still single, hey, and you're not in the talking phase or you're not um, really um, dating or anything like that. Um, but the Lord was just telling me a strong foundation of friendship before, ma for, before marriage. And I'm like, okay, Lord, was this just for me or is this for, because sometimes I come on here and it's literally just, it's nothing to do with me and it has everything to do with whoever God is uh, wanting to hear that. But um, I was like, Lord, is this just something for me or do you want me to share this? And I feel like um, this is the time. And so for many of you, uh, whether you have a special friend or you don't, um, the Lord is bringing friendships. Um, the Lord is bringing, and not just um, male or female friendships as far as um, before marriage, but the Lord is also solidifying any uh, friendships that might have been broken. Um, he is restoring any friendships that might have been damaged um, in any kind of way. He is restoring, hallelujah. And But in this particular word, um, it was really, really focused on um, friendship before marriage and there's a scripture that says a friend loves at all times um and that we must trust in the lord lean not on our own understanding and acknowledge god in all of our ways and he shall direct our paths for many of you um god is showing you things and it's like it is it, not making sense and the lord is saying it's all going to make sense sooner or later it's coming to full circle um, and so you might have glimpses like me, you know, just different glimpses or different pieces and you're not sure how it's all going to fit in the puzzle. Um, don't worry, do not be anxious. Um, the Lord knows exactly how the puzzle pieces are going to fall um, perfectly. And so we must trust in the Lord with just everything in our lives. And um, I've found that friendships, um, I just struggle with friendships. Um, just through my own um, things, I just, I've never really, now I'm, I'm actually, um, now that the Lord has pruned some friendships off, um, and I didn't understand it then, but now I kind of see why and how the Lord is taking me into a new season. And for some of you, the Lord has pruned friendships off, and there's been some distance, or there's been certain things, um, or they might have just simply left. And you're like, God, why did this person leave me? Why did they treat me this way? And um, I don't know about you all, but in my conversations with the Lord talking about marriage, because um, I know that is such a desire he's put in my heart. I don't think it's happening like anytime soon, soon, but it's, it's a desire um, from him. And um, 
And I just saying, Lord, I want to marry someone that's like my best friend. Like, I want to marry someone that loves our friendship. I want to marry someone that um, will laugh and someone I can be vulnerable with and someone I can talk with. Because you all see my YouTube public, some of my things that I do struggle with. And sometimes I'm like, Lord, am I going to find somebody that's going to want to deal with the not so pretty parts of me or the parts that are not so glamorous? Sometimes we wonder like, Lord, is there someone out there that's real and authentic and that can be vulnerable and that's empathetic? And um, the Lord has preparing, has been preparing my heart. I believe he has been preparing his heart. Um, and so... <sighs> Um, just want to come on and remind you that it's okay to work on you. The Holy Spirit is taking me. Where are we going? Okay, I feel like this video has like five different topics, but I'm just going to flow with the Spirit. Um, it's okay to work on you, and it's okay to take time, and that's what I'm doing in this season of my life, um, and I've chosen not to date um, because a few reasons, but mainly because I'm just so fixed and I'm so focused on the Lord and I'm so in love with God. And that's why when God was telling me as of lately to unguard my heart, I'm like, mm, God, I don't, I don't want to unguard my heart. I really don't. And sometimes when we're so guarded, we also block the flow of God and how he wants to move through us. And so God has just been speaking to me, Janae, it's time to unguard your heart. And I said, okay, God, but I'm hiding my heart in you. And whoever he is, is going to have to seek you to find my heart. Um, because, you know, I think we've all been hurt in the past. And if you know me, you know, I have a big heart. I love to give. I give a lot. Um, and I don't see that. It doesn't happen really for me in return. Um, and so when the Lord told me to unguard my heart, I'm like, what? What you got? And so... Um, this is a this is a season for love. I feel like this is this is a season for love, but not just romantic love, but a season for you to feel God's love in the midst of what you're going through, in the midst of how you're feeling, in the midst of the depression you may be feeling, in the midst of the anxiety. God is wanting to cover you with his love. It says that his perfect love drives out all fear. And lately it's just been like such a stronghold of fear in my life. And I'm like, God, what is this? Like, I need you to help me uproot this thing and dismantle this thing because it has been so much fear and a lot of opposition. And I think because I'm so, so close to the things that the Lord has for me. And I know many of you are so, so close to whether it's that person, whether it's the business, the book, the, the new job assignment, whatever that... And I'm sure you know what it is as you're talking with the Lord, as you're speaking the Lord, he is speaking. Um, and so knowing his voice for yourself and really praying. And that's why I say with every prophetic word, when I started doing this, I didn't even really put prophetic word in the beginning because I'm like, but now I do just to make things a little bit clearer. But I'm like, God, I naturally flow in the, in the prophetic. Sometimes I'm talking and God would totally disrupt my my notes and say something that is not even written or I will have a word word of knowledge for someone um and so but yeah the Lord is building strong a strong friendship before marriage and that's going to require work it's going to require you doing the work necessary that is necessary for you to be whole and to be complete um because of what I've learned is that there are things um that the Lord had a process in me that I couldn't take with I couldn't take with me. And a lot of the things, like for example, um, struggling that, that men can be faithful. Um, because of what I've seen early on in my life um, was that my dad was not faithful. So is the man that I marry, is he gonna cheat on me? Is he going to... I struggled with that for so long and I feel like the Lord is finally releasing me from that. Um, but faithfulness, like in men, like, God, will my husband do this to me? And so um, it's just been cycles of things, but I thank God that he's breaking those cycles. And, and for you, start speaking life. 
Don't speak what you don't want to happen. Don't speak fear. Don't speak what the enemy's been planting in your mind. I'm very careful to not say things um, out of my feelings and out of my emotion and my frustration. Sometimes I'm like, Lord, I'm done. I'm done. And then I'm like, Lord, I repent. I renounce that. I'm not done. Forgive me, Jesus. I'm coming back. Like, because in my, in my flesh, in my feelings, I am done and I want to be done. And that's it and move forward. And um, and the Lord still has things that he's cultivating through us, right? So sometimes things, like especially for me, my master's program, I can't believe like how many times this semester I'm like, oh, I don't want to give up. I don't want to do this anymore. I, but I know you've called me to do it, but I don't want to do it, Lord. Like so many, um, just being authentic and raw with God. And he's just so, he will sit there. In the midst of my craziness, God will sit there when I'm struggling with my faith and there are times I'm having doubt. And, and God is just probably just sitting there like, Janae, only if you knew the things that I had for you, only if you could trust me and increase your faith. And that's what he's been testing me in. There's been a lot of tears. There's been a lot of healing. There's been a lot of um, just freedom because where the presence of the Lord, there is freedom. And so I speak that over you right now, whoever, I believe this is for somebody because the Lord really just had me go way off of what I was feeling like what my topic was, but that's, come on, Holy Spirit does that all the time. So, um, but yes, the Lord is building a strong friendship between you and this person before marriage. Um, be patient, wait on the Lord with good courage, be patient. And that's what I have to, I have, I have learned in this season is patience and letting God really flow through me and work through me. And I'm so thankful that God did not give me what I wanted then. I'm so thankful that it didn't happen then because it wasn't time. It wasn't season. Um, and I think personally with everything that I was still dealing with, I probably would have messed it up and I probably would have said things um, that I probably should have not said out of just my own hurt or whatever um and so sometimes the lord will literally make you mute like there are so many times i'm like i'm gonna say this and the lord's like uh uh-uh. uh and i'm like okay god and learning to know when to speak and knowing when to listen and knowing when to be still in his presence and say god this doesn't make sense god i don't understand this God, but I'm going to trust in what you've shown me. I'm going to trust in what your word says. I'm going to trust you, God. I feel like this is, somebody needs to hear this. Um, I was not planning on saying 75% of what I said in this video, but glory to God. This is, this is going to reach a few people. I just know it. Um, and so relax, breathe. Um, it's all coming together. Um, and it's time. The Lord is saying it's time. And it's not time because of anything that you have done. It's not time because you've rushed or because you wanted it right now, but it's time because it is his appointed time. And though, although it did tarry, you know, the, the scripture says, write the vision and make it plain. Although it tarry, wait for it. It shall not delay. And for some of you, you've been feeling in these friendships and these situations that like God, this feels delayed, this feels, and God is saying that it's not, it feels delayed, but it's really not going to delay at the end because his time is perfect. And God wants us to increase our faith in him and our trust in him. And God will test us. It's not always the enemy that is testing us. You know, in Job, it says, he knows the way that I take. And when he has tested me, when he, God, has tested me, I shall come forth as pure gold. So a lot of you are coming forth as pure gold. It's not over. It's not done until it's gold. Um, so if your situation is not pure gold right now, God is not done. God is not finished. There is a process. There's a work that he's still trying to complete in you. Um, so I just, I would say continue the process, go through the process, um, work through those things, have those uncomfortable conversations with yourself, with God, be vulnerable with God and be vulnerable with this person. I believe this person that, um, that the Lord is preparing for you, um, you will be able to be vulnerable and you will be able to have discussions and conversations, but the Lord is going to want you to go deeper, even deeper in that. Um, and that's going to take more vulnerability and more openness, which 
can be hard for some of us because we've ha- we've been hurt and we might not want to trust or love again but the lord is saying now that it is time and it's not time for anything that you have done that you have done it in your own strength but it's just now his appointed time um and so i just want to thank you all um and i feel like most of that was for whoever that comes on and watches this um but i i love you all thank you all so much for watching my video and all glory to god praise god let's just pray real quick before we leave out um father god in the name of jesus i just thank you for every person that is watching this video god i thank you for every friendship i thank you for every um every person god that you have allowed us to um, just cross paths with god that that you have a purpose uh for and so i thank you god and let us not grow weary in doing well, because you say that in the proper time we shall reap a harvest if we faint not, if we do not give up. And Father God, I thank you that our strength is being increased, our joy is being increased, our trust and our faith and our confidence in you is being increased. And I muzzle the mouth of the enemy right now that tries to come in and plant seeds of, of doubt and fear and inferiority and just... Um, this is going to happen again and it's going to be the same thing and and so god let us let us be open to love to loving again and let us be open god to receiving all that you have for us let us not block anything god that you want to move or flow through us um through our own insecurities through our own um what we may feel are um deficits so i thank you god um, and we just come to you boldly and we just say god take it take my broken heart take my take this, take that, God, and just make it beautiful, make it whole, because God, you know how to take something and make it beautiful and make it a masterpiece. You take, um, you make beauty out of ashes, so I thank you, God, that it shall be done and that, and that it shall be so in your timing, God, because you know the right time and the right place and the right person. So I thank you, God, um, that it shall be so in your timing. And God, whoever is watching this that feels so sad and so discouraged and feels like, God, that there is not a mate that you have out there for them, God, that I would um, ask you to speak to them right now in the name of Jesus, that you would comfort their hearts and know that there is someone out there that you are preparing for them. And that even though right now it doesn't look that way, it might not make sense, um, but God, that you're bringing everything to Together and everything um, will start to make sense as you see fit. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. And Father God, I ask that you break any wall, any barrier that is hindering um, the move of God and that's hindering this process for taking place. For we know that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but God, that you've, you've come so that you can give us life and life more abundantly. So I thank you, God, that the word shall become flesh in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for every dream and every vision and every... Um, every way, every sense of communication that you have spoken to us, God, I thank you um, for just talking with us and being with us and walking with us. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. Um, God is getting ready to do some big things. It might scare you and you might want to shrink back and say, God, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know I've prayed about this. I know I've asked you about this and I know I know I've fasted about this, but wait a minute, Lord, could it really be happening soon, soon? Could it really be happening now? And for some of you, the Lord is saying it's happening sooner than you think, and it is happening now. Um, so prepare your heart and ask him to give you strength and peace in that. Um, because sometimes we could want to be married and we want a mate, but we're we're not open opening ourselves to love because love is a risk. Um, and so I feel like God in this season is coming to give peace to people's hearts who are kind of nervous and apprehensive of opening their heart again, knowing that this is what the Lord wants them to do. And this is the Lord's purpose um, in season right now. But God will give you peace, I believe, in that um, because he is the Prince of Peace. So he will guide you through that. Um, I've talked so much more than I planned on, but Holy Spirit, he's flowing. So um, thank you all so much and have a blessed day. Bye.